Hi, my name is Jack Broering and the purpose of this video is to show you how to create your own website, which we will refer to as a wiki. The wiki will provide you a place to store your class materials as you develop them. You can later use the wiki with your students in the classroom to present lessons, interact with your students, and post announcements among other things. So let's get started. So what will you learn? At the completion of this tutorial, you're going to understand what a wiki is, know why you need a wiki, and lastly, you'll actually create a wiki. It's a relatively short video, so you might watch it once and then rewind it and build your wiki as you watch it a second time. You can stop this video at any time and use what you learn to start building your wiki. If you're wondering why you need to create a wiki, the answer is simple, for the sake of collaboration. It will allow you to upload your unit plans, activity documents, and worksheets so that you might share them with your students and others who are interested in your unit. Other teachers may be interested in presenting a lesson similar to yours in their own classroom, so your wiki serves as a place for them to find well-prepared materials. If this is your first exposure to a wiki, you may also think of it as a personal online website. An important aspect of the wiki is that you will control who has access to it. Typically, you will use your wiki to share your work, and as such, it is easy to do that. Generally, the wiki makes a great place to showcase your work, and since we'll be using a Google product called Google Sites, the access is free. Since Google Sites is a Google product, we've found that using Google Chrome offers the best user experience. In addition to Chrome being compatible with Google Sites, it also permits you to upload multiple files at once, is compatible with various computing platforms, and is free. If you do not have a Google account, it's pretty simple to get one. Just go to the link noted here. If you need to download Chrome, you can also follow the link noted here. If you already have a Google account, open Google Chrome and sign in. To access Google Sites, type sites.google.com in the URL box, which is also known as the address box, at the top of the browser as shown here. Press the Enter key when you have the address entered. Once again, if you don't have a Google account, you can navigate to the Sign Up website noted at the bottom of the page. Just fill in the blanks and then sign in. Once you've navigated to the Google Sites page, click on the Create button, then choose In Classic Sites. You will then be given the option to pick a template. In this case, we'll keep it simple and choose the blank template. You are welcome to use another template, but if this is your first time you are creating a wiki, keep it simple. For the site name, consider using the format noted on the slide by entering your first name, middle initial, and last name followed by the year. On this page, you'll notice the year is designated as 20XX, where XX is the last two digits of the year. By using the name format, you are most assuredly going to create a unique name for your wiki. Once again, you're welcome to use any name that you feel suitable, but remember that it must be a unique name. Fortunately, Google Sites will notify you if the name you have chosen is not unique. Click on the checkbox next to I'm not a robot near the bottom of the page and then click create. Alternatively, you may be asked to enter a CAPTCHA code. Enter the code and then click create. If all went well, you should now have your own wiki page. Now let's add pages to your wiki. As the purpose of the wiki is to organize your teaching materials, we will add multiple pages initially for a unit of instruction and for your schedule. A unit in this case refers to all of those materials needed to deliver a defined segment of instruction. You're probably looking at the home page, but if not, click the home button, then click the create page button. The create page button looks like a tiny sheet of paper with a plus sign on and is located on the right hand side of the page. Next, in the name your page box, type unit one. Leave the default template as web page and make sure the put page at the top level radio button is clicked. 
by putting it at the top level, it will not be indented. Lastly, click Create. In addition to the unit pages, create a page where you might store any school calendars, bell schedules, or lesson plans. These are very useful for your coaches to help them coordinate their visits to your classroom. If you have followed along and created your wiki as you went, it might look something like this. Congratulations! If you haven't yet created the wiki, go ahead and give it a try. I think you'll find it to be very simple. It's a work in progress and our next tutorial we will continue building on what you have already learned. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the opportunity to start building your wiki. To see what a completed wiki looks like you might select any of these three wikis using the URL address listed below their names. Just take that URL address type it into the browser address window and press enter and it'll take you to that particular wiki. As this tutorial was very brief, you may want to seek out other resources to help you with building and modifying your wiki. Two sources of information are a document developed by Tyler King, which is about three pages long, and a YouTube video developed by M.A. Scott, which is 13 and a half minutes long. Both of these are well done and will help you in understanding how to develop a high quality wiki site.